I see V is very, very extraordinary E is even more than anyone that you adore can love is all that I can give to you Love is more than just a game for two Two in love can make it Take my heart and please don't break it Love was made for me and you Well, before we begin, um, we just want to take a moment uh, and have a moment of silence just to, to remember the people that were not able to be here today. Welcome everyone, family, friends. It's wonderful to, to be here today uh, to witness the union of Daniel and Katie. Please be seated. I've known Daniel and Katie, well I've known Daniel for many years. <laughs> I, I recently got to know Katie um, these past few weeks and it's just, it's been a pleasure. Um, Yesterday we were driving up for to the to the ceremony, and I got to just look at them interact, and it was just it was a pleasure to just watch them. Um, the way that Daniel uh, honored and just loved Katie in the midst of a really stressful situation, <laughs> planning a wedding, um, and just the way that Katie just showed him such affection and patience. Um, 
uh, it was just it was just wonderful to see you guys interact. I just I just know that the Lord is doing something wonderful and amazing here, and it's it's not perfect ever, but it's it's Him, and He's working with it. Um, when I was praying about what to share and what to talk about before you guys tied the knot, really just felt the, this question of just what what is marriage? Especially in this day and age, it's just it's just a hard question to answer. Um, but I, I do believe that you guys will and do define it very well. And I just want to read a quote that um, that I love, and it's by um, Gary L. Thomas. What God designed marriage to be is to make us holy, not to make us happy. And if you, if you look at the biblical story, and if you look at Jesus, and you look at the story of God in Israel, you realize that his intention was never for them to be happy. His intention was always for them to be perfect, for them to be holy. And when you look at Jesus, and when you look at him on the cross, you, you realize that everything that he did, he did to sanctify and purify his bride. To make her white and spotless. And just looking at you, Katie, it's just this is, this is the idea. It, it's not our actions, it's not what we do, it's not what we say that makes us white and holy. It's Jesus and the precious blood that he shed on the cross. And as I was praying, I was just thinking about this, this verse. And it's in John 15, 13. And it says that Jesus is speaking to his disciples and he says, There is no greater love than a man who is willing to lay down his life for his friends. And I was, I was talking to my wife about this this morning and she was like, Isn't that a verse about friendship? And I was like, No, that's a verse about love. Every day, having the opportunity to die to ourselves, man and woman, dying to what we want, dying to what we desire, Dying to our feelings and putting the needs of the other above our own. So as we proceed with this, this ceremony, I just want you guys to really think about that. You, Daniel, you keep. That every day you have an opportunity to be like Christ and to become holy. And marriage is the perfect way to do it. Because you guys are going to challenge each other. You guys are going to fight. You're going to have hard times. But every day, you have the best advocate in your corner. The one who has done it all. And that is Jesus. So the couple is going to take some time. And they're going to go and they're going to say their vows together. And I just want us to be praying for them during that time. And while they are doing that, we're going to be passing on the round the rings in the front row, in the front few rows. And I just want you guys to be praying over the rings and just saying a blessing. Because the rings are a symbol of their love and their commitment to one another. And they're going to be wearing them constantly for the rest of their days. So just really dig deep and just bless the couple during this time. Old things have passed away Your love has stayed the same Your constant grace remains the cornerstone Things that we For all that you've done, we 
sing out a new song today? So if we could have um, Ralph, Randy, the parents, Kevin, Amy, and everyone just come up to pray for them before we continue. Yeah, just come and lay your hands on them. Play the other song as well.
the white dress that Katie is wearing today represents purity. Lord, we'll be able to You wash our sins clean. So our sins be scarlet, they shall be wool. They will be red like wool. They shall be white as snow. Glory, hallelujah, church, we will be spotted. And I pray in Jesus' name, in favor of Mother Mary. I pray that you would call your, your, their attention to you. Help the Lord to humble himself before you as you lift him up. And not be ashamed to speak your holy name with boldness and with those believers of our predecessors. Let them grow in the knowledge and the truth of your word. Let them grow in each other, encourage each other, lift each other. Father, help them to get into your word and study to show themselves the work that they've done. Don't be ashamed of are, are able to rightly disseminate your word of truth. Rightly understand. I pray, Lord, that your Holy Spirit would bring understanding and the knowledge that you would open the eyes of their understanding, open their hearts to your truth. We'll give you all praise in the name of Jesus. So let it be. We're just going to move into the public baths, well, just real quick. Everyone here is going to hear these things, and it is your responsibility and your obligation to hold them accountable in times of trial, to bring them together, to unify them, never to drain them apart, to hold them to the words that they have spoken here today. Daniel, we'll start with you. So I, Daniel, take you, Kate. I, Daniel. To be my wife. To be my wife. <laughs> I promise to um, love you unconditionally. I promise to love you unconditionally. In hardship and in happiness. In hardship and in happiness. I promise to forgive you first. I promise to forgive you first. And deny myself just as I've been forgiven by Christ. And deny myself just as I have been forgiven by Christ. And just as he denied himself. And just as he denied himself. I promise to love you in sickness and in health. I promise to love you in sickness and in health. Putting your needs above my own and others. Putting my needs. <laughs> your needs. <laughs> <laughs> Putting your needs above my own and others. Putting your needs above my own and others. Okay. <laughs> I promise to treat you with the same value. I promise to treat you with the same value. That Christ showed you on the cross. That Christ showed you on the cross. I promise to stay by you always. I promise to stay by you always. In poverty and prosperity. In poverty and prosperity. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. Before God and these witnesses. Before God and these witnesses. I vow all these things to you. I vow all these things to you. Katie. Hi, Katie. Take you, Daniel, to be my husband. Take you, Daniel, to be my husband. I promise to respect you unconditionally. I promise to respect you unconditionally. In hardship and happiness. In sharp. <laughs> In hardship and happiness. Hardship and happiness. <laughs> I promise to forgive you first. I promise to forgive you first. And deny myself. And deny myself. Just as I have been forgiven by Christ. Just as I have been forgiven by Christ. Just as he denied himself. Just as he denied himself. I promise to treat you with the same value that Christ showed you. I promise to treat you with the same value that Christ showed you on the cross. That Christ showed you on the cross. I promise to stay by you always. I promise to stay by you always. In poverty and prosperity. In poverty and prosperity. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. For God and these witnesses are about us. For God and these witnesses are about us. We have the rings, please. <laughs> Take this ring and put it on Katie's finger as a constant reminder to be worn always 
of your covenant promise with her. Katie, take this ring and put it on Daniel's finger. as a, a symbol of your love and commitment towards him and the covenant that you now share. Before God, our King, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. Oh, Mr. and Mrs. for the first time. Yeah! Woo! 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 take some group pictures with everyone so not sure how they want to do this but probably everyone that's here just kind of get real close together and they'll come in front and we'll get pictures of everyone and the couple and the groom's the groom party the wedding party Everyone come up here, and they'll come up in front of you guys. Thank you. 